All right. <clears throat> so this is how good of a job the media did at hiding this because I'm now just reading about Hunter Biden's Navy career. And the more ironic thing about that is he was stationed in Norfolk where I was. The only difference was um, I was deployed when he got there. He was probably on shore duty. I don't know his actual command though, so, but, so I'm not sure if he was attached to a boat or not, but anyways, um, so yeah, uh, when I heard about this and the age that he got in, I was like, no way, like, but when your dad is vice president, you know, um, you pretty much do whatever you want, but, uh, he got a waiver for his age, a waiver for drug use, which is common, the drug use thing, uh, the waiver. I mean, if his dad wasn't VP, he probably wouldn't have gotten in, especially with the drug waiver. Normally after, normally after a drug waiver, you're pretty much screwed, especially if you're out of compliance with other enlistment policies. But so he got commissioned and got stationed in Norfolk, the toilet of the Navy. And, um, apparently he got there in 2012 and then was discharged in like 2013. So very, very short career. Um, I'm curious as to what his discharge status is because it's not honorable. It's, it can't be honorable. If it's honorable, that's a slap in the face, but, um, probably other than honorable, admin i'm assuming just assuming but um so what's weird though about this uh <laughs> you know he's an ensign and anyone who served know you know call them butter bars fresh out of the academy ensigns don't know shit i mean it, it's hilarious when some new ensign gets to a command and like tries to boss around a chief i mean that shit don't fly and most ensigns know their place when they get there. I mean, we had a new divo when I was on board the Ike, and he admitted it, like, right off. He's like, I'm a butter bar, guys. I don't know shit, so don't expect me to know anything. And he was cool like that. But, so Hunter's CO, though, provides expeditionary public affairs forces supporting the fleet. And component commanders immediately deployable force packages, trained and equipped to support current and emerging public affairs. Um, I'm not exactly sure what a public affairs officer is. Like, it doesn't sound like a training officer. But, um, so I'm assuming he probably worked under legal. Uh, but, like I said, I, I don't know exactly. But, uh, it's... I don't take it as a slap in the face, but it is hilarious because this was never talked about in the media. All that was talked about was Trump's a draft dodger, Trump's a draft dodger, while they ignored Biden draft dodging. And this, like, this is crazy. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to do cocaine, though, when they end up in Norfolk? That place fucking sucks, but still, so... And I don't knock him for his drug use. So we all have issues. And I'm definitely not one to judge based on cocaine use.